What's up YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter back and today we will be hunting a full $500 box of the NF String and Son quarters that I just picked up from one of my local wells, Fargo. Uh, this particular branch seems to get these String and Son rolls more than they get Loomis, which makes me really, really happy. I do see a lot of opportunities for some W's. I did see a couple of Ender Bicentennials as well. I didn't see any silver. We do have a bunch of the 2022s in there as well. So we're going to jump right into these rolls. We'll bring in as soon as we find something interesting. So let's go ahead and jump into roll number one here together. And you'll probably notice I've got the box turned long ways. I'm going to go up the long rows for this hunt, I think. Uh, so we'll do this one a little bit differently. But here we are, roll number one, mainly with you guys right now hunting for some silvery edges and uh, shiny edges, and then I will go through off camera and bring you guys in if we find anything interesting. I do have a document in the description down below this video that has all of the things that I hunt for. This 2021, the main one being this dye chip on the hat, we're looking for the largest one we can find. In my last couple of videos, I have found some really, really large dye chips. Uh, I keep telling myself I'm gonna put them online and try to sell them on eBay, and to date, I just have not done that. Here are two uh, potential W, so W quarters are 2019 and 2020. Those are West Point Mint quarters, and they are worth a lot of money on eBay. Uh, well, anyway, well, that does it for kind of the shiny edges uh, within that roll. I'm going to go off camera, and I will bring you guys in as I find interesting things to look at under the scope. Wait a minute, here's one more shiny one. Another 2019 River of No Return, and it is a Philly. All right, so like I said, going off camera. Hopefully see you guys soon. So I'm on roll number two, and uh, just bringing you guys in, the Drooling George is pretty prevalent amongst the new 2022 quarters. I believe it can be found on every single strike. I know it's on the Sally Ride, and I know it is on the Maya Angelou. I did already find one of the new ones. It's probably the second one I found in circulation, but I know they're kind of everywhere. Um, that one did not have the drooling George. But this one was a really, really good example of the die chip. It's actually gigantic, and I thought I would bring you guys in. So we have it here under the scope. And there you can see it right there. We have a big old giant die chip in the corner of the mouth. And just to show you what that is supposed to look like, I'll take that new coin that I have. See how that's just a regular curved mouth. Um, there's no die chip in there. So this is a really good example of that drooling George and what you might be looking for. So I'm on roll eight, and I wanted to bring you guys in and just kind of show you the importance of having to look at every coin and the mint mark. I've got two coins right here, and these this is the order in which, well, actually it's not the order in they came out. I had to pull one to get this. But if you looked at the edges of these two, these look like really, really nice coins. You'll see the coin in front is a Denver, and it looks like it might be a uh, doubled, uh, uh, doubled mint mark, but it's not, or a repunched mint mark, it's not. But it's just a really, really nice 2018 quarter from Denver. The one behind it, though, is a San Francisco clad proof. And looking at the edge, you would never know that. So if you just skim through these really quickly, you would have missed this. Now, there's not a lot of value here, but it is a proof quarter, which means somebody popped this out of a set and spent it. And that's how it ended up in my box. But this is the Indiana 2017. We'll put it aside as a find. So we're on roll 18, and we found something else shiny, and we have found this coin in our last couple of boxes. So I don't know why it's becoming so common, but this is the 2018 Minnesota S, San Francisco Business Strike coin. I think I called the last one I found like this a proof, and it is in fact a clad business strike. The proof would have a more frosted finish on it. Uh, George's head would be all frosted over and the, the fields would be mirror-like. That would be a proof. So this is a business strike. Um, and again, I found now a couple, three or four of these in the last couple of boxes overall. So still happy to have it. Same roll, probably, I don't know, 10, 15 coins later, we came across another super shiny business strike that is also San Francisco minted here. And it's the same coin. And I didn't know that because it was forward-facing, so... Surprised to actually see this one, but not really. Like I said, I've been finding a lot of these lately. We are on roll 26, and the business strikes just keep on coming. Here's another one, San Francisco business strike. This is, this is the Apostle Islands, Wisconsin, 2018. 
That is four business strikes on the box. That might be a record for me. So we're under roll 30, and we have our first, and I think this one is a proof. This is a San Francisco. It is definitely clad. But you can see in the fields that it does have a mirror-like finish, and we have just a little bit of the frosting left on good old George there. We see our S for the San Francisco Mint, and on the reverse, it's even more noticeable that it is a proof. You can see the shine in, uh, in the fields and the frosting in the buffalo there versus this. This is just a really nice looking coin, uh, but it's not frosted. This is a proof. So first proof of the box, pretty cool. Same roll, just a couple coins later, and this thing surprised me, and I think it's my first find in quarters. It's a Balboa. Now I get Balboa halves from time to time, but I don't know if I've ever gotten a Balboa quarter. So this is pretty cool. This is something I'll flip up and throw in my uh, little box of finds here. It's a 1975 Republic de Panama. That is really cool. Love find, finding foreigns like this in my boxes. So we're on roll 31, and I'm about, I don't know, three quarters of the way through the roll. We do have a uh, an Arizona quarter under the scope, and I find these in almost every box, but uh, it's the first one of this box, so I thought I'd bring you in. You can see right here, we've got where my mouse is, that extra cactus. We should see the initials J-I-M, but due to a die chip, we have a little extra cactus covering those initials. So we're on roll 35, and we're about three quarters of the way through the roll, and I had to stop here because we have yet another, zoom in here a little bit, San Francisco business strike. This time we got a, this looks to be like the New Jersey Ellis Island. Pretty darn cool. That makes five business strikes on the box. That is a lot. It's definitely a record for me. We're on roll 45 and maybe a quarter way through the roll, and we have found yet another San Francisco business strike. Looks like we have a Minnesota Voyagers 2018. Lots of 2018s in here. Lots and lots of them. That is now, I think, six on the box. So we're on roll 48, and I wasn't going to bring you in, but then it ended up being almost back-to-back -back towards the end of the roll. But we had two more San Francisco business strikes, both, and I already looked at them, of course, uh, 2018s. We've got a Georgia Cumberland Island here, and right here we've got another San Francisco and it is another one of the Minnesota, what does that say, Voyagers. We've got a bunch of those on this box, but that's now two, four, six, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, that's eight San Francisco business strikes on the box. Well, roll number 50 is not going to let us down. Again, about halfway through the roll, and we have another San Francisco business strike. This time, it is the Indiana 2017 George Rogers Clark. Man, unbelievable box for the business strikes today. Same roll, roll number 50, literally like three or four coins later, we have another San Francisco business strike. Another 2018 Georgia Cumberland Island. Well, that is the end of the box, and I wanted to bring you guys in for a recap because, as usual, we had a pretty darn good quarter box. Let me back up a little bit so we can get it all in there. Not any W's and not any silver, and those are usually your really big, valuable finds in a box of quarters. But uh, these were all kind of neat finds nonetheless. Uh, there were a number of things that I didn't find in this hunt that I normally find, like... Um, the crossing the Delaware, normally I get like a dozen of those with the, the die chip on the hat. I had one small one, but I tossed it back. Um, I did not check for any drooling Georges outside of that first one I showed you just because I already have a couple of rolls of those and I just don't want to hang on to any more of them. Um, but to go through the whole thing, oh yeah, and I guess I should say like normally I find a bunch of homestead quarters, um, like the DDRs. I usually find a bunch of leaky buckets, didn't have any of those this time. Um, but I checked for everything that I normally do except for, uh, again, the Drooling Georges and just didn't find as many varieties this time as I normally do. 
What we did find though, and I just pulled these because I'm starting to see them more and more, was three of these new uh, Wilma man killer uh, quarters. I got three of those in this box. Last box, I only had one. We had that drooling George that I showed you and that was a Sally ride. Um, I think the cool part of this box was all of the various business strikes that we got. So two, four, six, eight, I had 10 business strikes in this box, which is just amazing. I did have a lot of repeats though. Um, I'll go through them here in a second and just, you know, organize them so you can see all the repeats. Uh, something we don't find a whole lot of in quarter boxes is we did get one San Francisco proof. It was in North Dakota. So I always like finding true proofs in the box. I didn't bring you in for both of these, but we had the typical Arizona extra cactus variety. We had two of those. I had one box that was stuffed with an extra dime. It was a 2017, so I just made 10 cents on that roll. Probably my favorite find of the box, though, was this Balboa. There's no value to it to me. Or, you know, there's no, like, I'm not going to sell this on eBay and make a bunch of money on it. But I, I just love the design of these Balboas, and uh, I've never found a Balboa quarter. So I was really excited to find this in the box. And then, as usual, I pulled all of my Denver and my Philadelphia Drummer Boy quarters, my Bicentennials. I do make rolls of those and sell them on eBay from time to time. And I ended up with, let's see here, two, four, six, eight. I had nine Denvers and two, four, six, seven Phillies. Uh, I did check all the Denvers for, I believe there's a repunch mint mark, and I know there's a DDO, and uh, none of them had that. One of these days I'll find one, though, and it's really valuable when you do if it's in good condition. So I'm really looking forward to finding one of those one day. So with that said, I hope you did enjoy this hunt. Sorry for my finger in front of the camera there. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this uh, hunt. I know I did. Uh, I do like these String and Sun boxes. They tend to produce better than a lot of my Loomis and Brinks counterparts, so I always enjoy getting those boxes. If you are new to the channel and you like coin roll hunts or you like to talk about gold and silver, uh, this is a good channel for you, man. Consider going down below this uh, video, clicking on that subscribe button, then clicking on that little bell and selecting all so you get notified each and every time I release a new video. Uh, if you like this video, drop on down below, click that like button, leave me a comment while you're down there. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, outside of that, if it's something you think your friends should see, don't forget to share this video. I'm always trying to grow my subscriber base, so share this video around. Uh, you guys take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.